little pig. Little oh. pig. There's no orcas. Welcome to Herefordshire. Oh, good to see you're you again. In. You're in. <laughs> yes, this is the this is the true Wild West. <laughs> and Wild West it is. The world's greatest rock drummer. Drummer. <laughs> and Martin, um, are you enjoying your birthday? Are you having a good time? Uh, yes, since I've been in this hotel, I've had a fantastic time. It's a wonderful place. I think we've been for 30 years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've got a little bit of work to do here, Marty. What was that? I don't know. Is it like the hills have eyes? Oh, they're pheasants fighting, that's what it is. Is it? C a couple of cocks at it. Yeah. See what behind that little bit of a... There you go, look at them. Well at it. It's like sets us chainsaw. It's a massacre, It's yeah. coming down here. No, it's just a beautiful spot. And I'm going to turn yeah, this I, into this a... This reminds me of Bermondsey. Yeah, it's very, very close, isn't it? Very, like, yeah. Like it's... I'm trying to industrialise it by, put, <laughs> by putting a pond in. <laughs> Now this is all self-contained and uh, it, it's, it's my peace and quiet, you know. Next contestant, write it here please. Right, is that it? Can we go now? Yep, we got it. <laughs> Good, we've got to have humour in it because I'm a yeah. very serious man. Yeah. I've noticed that. Mike Tabers, absolute, very good to see you, man. Absolute, long time no see. It is indeed, it is indeed. Um, absolute pleasure to see. I've just pulled my mic off, so we start that again. <laughs> no, uh, that's good. No, leave it in, that's good. Okay, but no, we'll put it together. Technology. I started back in 67 and we put a band together rather quickly because I'd never played drums before. Bloke in the market house, James Williams, said, we need, I'm putting a band together. Can you play drums? I said, yeah. Never touched them. Mm. Two weeks later, Buffin from Mott the Hoople lent me his drum kit to play St Mary's Village Hall. This was 1967. Um, and I became very pally with Buffin from that part of the world. But that was my first gig, 67. Um, yeah, that was a, a band called the Blues Reunion. Right. Which was a blues band. And uh, we did all that sort of early stuff. But we would, we would get something like Hendrix's first record and play a couple of Hendrix songs the day we got the album. We'd play them the day we got the album. Manic Depression was always my favourite because it's all a bit of left hand and right. stuff. So, um, And then following that was a County Farm Blues Band, 68. I've got some pictures, you can have a look at them. 69 was the start of Caracorum. Oh, I, could we have this? Mm. This is the band Caracorum. In 73, there you go. I think there's a bit of history on the back if you... Caracorum. That was, uh, that was Edgar Street Football Ground, uh, around the time of Ronnie Radford's great goal. And uh, it, it was, a, it was a, a brilliant day because we did it for the benefit of Harryford United. Look at where, where they are now. Where's Harryford United now, eh? Anybody? Black and white? Anybody? <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> it's the way things go in, in, in football. There we are. the band like the pretenders get together because you was like Hereford boys suddenly you're with you're up in London how well it surely wasn't from Caracorum no that, no that, it yeah, came that, that, about that, that, because yeah, uh, there was a character called Gaz Wild who Chrissy had met in London right Pete had been working with the Bushwhackers uh, an Australian band so he'd been to Australia he traveled a bit and was getting on okay but that had come full circle Jimmy had finished working with bands and he was a gardener in Hereford, but uh, because of Gaz Wild, Chrissy met Pete. So you three was 
in the same town. We grew up here, yeah. We grew Her up in Harryford, and yeah. uh, so I worked with Jimmy. I'd never worked with Pete. But you knew him, huh? But you knew him. Oh yeah. Oh, you know oh yeah. These oh, were yeah. my friends from, from oh, okay. you know teenagers. Oh, okay. So, um, so they wanted Jimmy in the band, and they tried to tempt him to come up to London. This is before any name Pretenders existed. This was in sort of early 78. So they got Nick Lowe to produce a Ray Davis song, Stop Be Sobbing and The Wait, with Jerry McElduff on drums, God bless him. And um, they said, we got, uh, we got Nick Lowe producing. And Jimmy loved Nick Lowe. So he upped sticks and came up to London to do the session. He loved it. And, uh, and then they, they needed a drummer because Jerry wasn't in it for the, for the full push. So uh, they were looking for me. Fortunately, because I'd gone to the Labour Exchange and I'd had enough of music for the moment, I wanted wheels. I wanted to get around and find out what was going on. That's the reason I became a driving instructor, because it came with a car. Mm. So I got a job with a car. Because I travel back to Hereford regularly, I heard from a guy called Andy Watt, a cameraman, about Jim and Pete being together with some, you know, loudmouth American. And, um, and so I found them. Key point. Mm -hmm. 